Hey, what's up, you guys? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Whew. The grind is real. Thank you guys so much for hanging out today. We have the $320 Super Knockout. This Saturday Super Knockout coming up right now. We have a bunch of things, a big one and nine. We're going to hop into the Hot 82. We're going to play the whole afternoon and hopefully win all the money. But yeah, let's do it. And we do end up taking it down. Let's go back down to the Hot 1650. We're building up a stack and we have the King and the King, the Dream. How you doing? I'm well, Shem Gold. How are you, man? Anyone watch the Master Classics of Poker MCOP 2015 final yesterday? I didn't. I didn't watch it. Hopefully it was a good show, though. Uh, Pentacall opens and we have the King King. Do we want a three better call? Three betting's really scary for them. Slow playing. We have lost with Kings a lot, and I know you guys don't want me to do this, but I think this is the most profitable play against Pentacall. Uh, so we'll just call. And we go heads up to the flop on a jack three deuce. They check, I think. Checking back is good, and we'll bet the turn. Slow playing continues. Bet of 2368. Wanna raise now or just call? Calling is fine. Checking the river, alright. They check. We're gonna bet. A little bit less than all in because I think we're gonna get called at a much higher frequency. And they call with aces. Alright, well, I think we lost some in somehow. <laughs> Ace Queen, this is going to be a reshove for us here. Down to 339. We're close to being in the money. Jimmy, I don't always have time to watch your stream. I really enjoy them YouTube videos. I'm glad. Oh, 30 UT Reg. I'm glad you like them, man. I'm trying to get the word out about them. I'm hoping that the channel is going to grow over time, obviously. Um, are we going to win against Ace 4? No, that's a 4! Hi, ya. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching today. I'm sorry the stream was not top level quality. Um, but you know, we tried and, and I know you guys appreciate it. You're going to tell me, I imagine, that you appreciate it, and I know you do. Thank you guys so much for watching, but until next time, aka tomorrow, where we win the million, please, Poker Gods, please, let me win the million one time for the stream dream. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hello, everyone. What's going on? We are here. What time is it? It's 1 a.m. Why are we here? I don't know why we're here. We're here. Um, so tonight, I'll let you know exactly what has happened in the last, I don't know, it's been like eight hours since I shut off the stream. So I finished the stream in the stream earlier today. You guys, some of you that saw it, wasn't very good. We ran really, really bad. So I shut down the stream, did a little bit of work, and then took a nap that turned a little bit more into a sleep. I was like, well, I might as well play the, the Pacific Rim, like I'm gonna be up now for a while. I took a, a big nap. It's a really good tournament, so I'm gonna put it on, on the side. Here we are. We are six of 25 in the Pacific Rim right now. All right, we have an all in. Is this the bubble bursting, or will we continue? 5-10 against ace-4, that's a five. Ace four needs a three or an ace, or it's GG, and it is GG, my friends. We are in the money. It's official. Let's get the red felt going. We've made it. Steady progression. We pick up the king queen. All right, we'll continue on with the raising. We are guaranteed again 1560 right now. First place is 6,000 though, so we have another 4,500 to play for. We get three bet to like very small out of position here. Very easy call with the king queen. No reason to four bet or anything. I think just calling is good. Play it in position relatively deep and we see a king high flop, which is great against a Daniel Durr. <coughs> we have a bet of 9,600, very small. Um, let's call and take the turn. Five on the turn, okay. Doesn't really change much for us. And they check. I don't think we want to bet here. The only bad card is an ace. Not really worried about it. I guess a seven or a three is like whatever. Um, but I think we're owning ourselves if we bet here. We're just going to check back. Represent some weaker hands. Eight on the river. Okay, they check. Do we want to value bet our king queen? Sure, I think so. Um, let's make it 22,000. That's good. If they raise, our life sucks, but we fold. If they raise, we fold. Even if it's like a min raise, I think. I don't know. We'll have to see what the exact price is. And we do get a fold. We pick it up. 
180,000, taking a pretty commanding lead now. So we're starting to see some division between these two. Tens! Oh my goodness, tens! We're just gonna go all in. I don't think this is a hand we want to induce with, because what happens when we min raise is that Daniel Dirk calls in the big line a lot, and they can play pretty well with tens when there's four overguards to tens. So I think shoving is best. Action's on always win, who's thinking it over. We want some action here, I think. I definitely think we want some action. But it's right back in this tournament, in contention for the win, if we get a double up here. And another tank from Always Win. Interesting. Long one. And we get a call! Can we hold? I think we have the best hand right now. So it's five deuce and folds against a seven. Do we hold? That's a good flop. That's a great turn. That's a good river. Ship the money, Dottie. 133k. We're right back in this thing, you guys. We are right back in it. Ace queen on the button. We're going to raise. A very strong hand heads up. You think about it. This is way over halfway. We get a 3-bet. I am going to 4-bet here with the Ace-Queen. We could call again, getting good prizes, but I think 4-betting is much better in this situation. So the question is, what's sizing? It's a pretty 6-bot when they 5-bet, if they do. That does make it sick. I don't think they 5-bet very much, so... Uh, yeah, we're going to 4-bet. We're just so far ahead of the range right now. The thing that makes me sort of grimace about it is like, against a five bet, we're doing meh, we're doing okay, right? So we're hoping they don't five bet here. We'd like them to call or fold. Both of those things are a little bit better than if they five bet. If they do five bet, I think we're gonna be priced in, especially considering it's heads up. Um, so yeah, we do see a shove and we are gonna have to call. Didn't really want to see this one. I would have preferred to play like a smaller variance heads up, but I think ace queen is too strong. So we call. Against Ace-9, do we hold? No, that's a 9! Come on! Oh! Oh, no! Mm. Ah. Alright, it's fine. We get second place for 4,080. GG to our opponent. GT to everyone that played. I'm really happy with this run, obviously. That was, uh, this was fun. <laughs> this was a fun time to win 4,000. That's not bad. Not a bad feeling before a Sunday afternoon, I would say. Big thank you to all of you guys for hanging out. It was, it was a session I didn't think I was going to have, and I'm so thankful I registered for the tournament. $4,000 second place in the 215 Pacific Rim. We were so close. We got it all in. Ace Queen against Ace Nine. Unfortunately, that nine on the flop killed our dreams to take down the tournament, but maybe we'll try it again next week. I don't know. It's a fun tournament for sure. Thank you guys so much for sharing this journey with me. It's been a lot of fun. Man, I'm excited. I feel pretty good, but I can't wait for Sunday. Let's win the Sunday Million tomorrow. Thank you all so much. We'll see you all tomorrow. Mm -hmm.